Dubai is a place where things happen. So we've seen initiatives like that starting at small scale, but then growing very much and becoming reality we live with. Experiment started actually more than two years ago, and we were invited by Dubai Silicon Oasis Authority to be partner in this as part of our uh, vision to be innovative in healthcare. Uh, initial phase was launched from Faqih University Hospital. If you look at what the drone can bring, it can bring several things. First, accuracy and uh, uh, very, very safe transportation, quick and rapid, and also it avoids, you know, the traffic. It, uh, it, it helps reducing carbon emission. Joining us now is someone who's actually already been using these drones for delivery, for hospital deliveries, in fact. I'm joined in the studio by Dr. Mohamed Abdelghani, who is the CEO of Faki University Hospital right here in the UAE. So thank you so much for joining us in the studio. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Can I ask you to come a little bit closer to the microphone for me? Thank you so much. So tell me, how long have you been trialling this drone delivery? So the experiment started actually more than two years ago and we were invited by Dubai Silicon Oasis Authority to be partner in this as part of our uh, vision to be innovative in healthcare. And uh, since August last year, we've been working very closely with, uh, with Kita since August 24 actually. And the tests have been intensified and we've been doing day in and day out testing for delivering medication safely to the right point where the patients can have access to their medications through the drone delivery. So it was it was actually uh, very exciting. Actually, the the launching pad, the launching pod was in front of my office. So I I kept witnessing the testing day and night until successfully His Highness yesterday was. Uh, we had the privilege to inaugurate it by His Highness yesterday. Yeah, it must have been a very cool moment indeed. What type of things are you looking to get delivered? And where are they going to? I guess they're not going to people's houses yet. So currently, the uh, initial phase was launched from Faqih University Hospital to four um, um, landing pods, or, or you can call them kiosks, in within DSO. Because the range is now limited to about three kilometer radius, so it, it is operating within DSO, within Dubai Silicon Oasis. Uh, until now, we have not done it to homes still, but that's one of the future steps that will be delivered to homes like residential villas and others. So we started with medication, but we have different plans to, to grow that into other, other items as well. Um, there are plans to grow into uh, transporting lab samples from our network of clinics. We have another clinic in DSO, so we will be able to transport uh, these blood samples from the clinic to the central lab in Faqih University Hospital. And we're working on that with the, with the Kita drones soon. I think probably because I don't really understand how hospitals and clinics work, I kind of can't imagine how often you need deliveries? Like, is it is it really frequent? Are you, for you, at the moment, do you always have motorbikes coming and going from the hospital? Yeah, actually, medication delivery in general is something that can provide patients with better care and experience. Mm -hmm. They avoid long waiting queues in front of the pharmacy to get their prescription medic medications and so on. So the normal transport mode was through uh, motorbikes and vehicles. If you look at what the drone can bring, it can bring several things. First, accuracy and uh, uh, very, very safe transportation, quick and rapid. And also, it avoids, you know, the traffic. It, uh, it, it helps reducing carbon emission. So there are plenty of advantages if you utilize this as, as a mode for transport of medication. I think the other advantage would be to continue to have temperature controlled, humidity controlled these uh, containers, so we can transport other stuff. Like I told you, we can transport lab samples, we can transport uh, 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 blood containers. So that's also a very important aspect, which provides accuracy and speed in the same time. And does it save money? Is it cheaper? In fact, it's not. It's uh, it's kind of... Not know, yet. <laughs> it, it's always like that. When you start a new innovation, it comes at a cost. Yeah. And, and as this innovation grow, as it uh, the implementation starts to, to expand, the cost goes down. And that's the objective. Actually, the, the plan is to take that transportation mode in Dubai to a different level. So yesterday, His Highness announced that we plan to have almost 5% of population, which is more than 500,000, using this in the future by 2034, that will become part of 
a, a differentiator for Dubai. And you know, Dubai is a place where things happen. So we've seen initiatives like that starting at small scale, but then growing very much and becoming reality we live with. Can I ask you a sort of slightly personal question? So less, more as a person and less as a CEO. When you see these drones buzzing around, like you said, they were outside your office all the time. When I see a drone in the sky or around me or I hear it buzzing, and it happens more and more now, I feel a bit nervous. I'm a bit like, where is it? You know, a bit like a big fly, you know, but but it feels like more dangerous than a fly. I'm like, where is it? Where is it? Do you do you get used to them? Because because it sounds like we're going to have to. I think so. You know, the 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 technology is evolving and the adoption of technology is increasing as well. So things that you're not used to previously, you start to get used to. And yeah. I, I told you when I see it, it was like, what? Where is this noise coming from? What? What is it doing? Because it's quite a distinct buzz, isn't it? Oh yeah, a little, yeah. a little buzz. Yeah, indeed, not indeed. loud. It's not. not I mean, it's, it's not loud. It's yeah. not loud actually. And the size of the drone is not that big actually. That that one, but it's it's capable of carrying. Uh, uh, I think a three to four kilometer box. So it's it's actually something new. But I'm sure we'll get used to it. Same like many other technologies. Yeah, know. yeah. I mean, ultimately, if it increases efficiency and means I don't have to queue at the pharmacy, I am, I'm here for it. That's for sure. A listener has just texted in saying, are the drones temperature controlled? Now, I don't know whether that means the drone itself, does it overheat or the box it's containing? I think the box is very important. The box, because it carries medication, mm. it has to be temperature controlled and humidity controlled. There are normal medication that can withstand this temperature uh, uh, outside, but there are some medication that need to be uh, carried in, in special containers. And the testing has been done, taken into consideration different weather conditions, you know, wind directions and, and other variables, and it was successful. Do you know, I've just realized something. I, I haven't asked who's steering the drone. <laughs> Where's the pilot? I think they have a, a command center which controls the movement of that, but there is an autonomous, uh, 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 that's the technology, it's an autonomous uh, uh, technology which takes it from one landing pod which is QR coded to another launching pod which is QR coded. So it moves from, so if you see that in front of the hospital you will see three QR codes for three different drones and each one comes to its specific QR code, it lands to its specific QR code and the same happens and in launching and, and receiving. Do you know, I think I've only just realized as part of our conversation that they were, that they're autonomous. And that is another, that's another leap forward, isn't Indeed. it? It's so interesting. Indeed. Indeed. So as always, it's a great pleasure to have you in our studio. Thank you so much for joining us to talk through this, this new Thank project. Thank you for having me. Thank it's you. been a great pleasure, Dr. Mohamed uh, Abdelghani there, CEO of Faki University Hospital in the UAE. 